Hello friends and welcome back to this playthrough of Crusader Kings 3, The Peasant Dynasty with Countess Dorothea Wertenberg. As a reminder, I play with a lot of mods um, that are listed down in the description and I play with genders inverted and with everything very, very gay. Um, I also just does some housekeeping. I uh, realized I was missing a mod for a, a compatibility patch between two of my mods. So I finally got that on there and it made the interface look so much nicer. So excitement, uh, mid game changes. Um, the game itself doesn't actually change just the way it looks, which is fine. Um, if you recall last time, <laughs> last time uh, Dorothy just really lost very badly she, she did she did very poorly in a war it was all Dor dorothy's fault it wasn't all my my problem um dorothy it was dorothy um she completely lost while trying to take hohenberg this tiny county and now she's in the middle of a de jure war happening all around her and she is trying very very hard to stay neutral by being very small and hoping nobody notices her um because as you can see I don't really have armies to raise, um, so uh, right now we're kind of we're kind of laying low, um, doing that that thing that prey do uh, when they're hoping a predator doesn't see them. Um, in the meantime, my liege, my liege is attacking this guy, Duke Berthold, who is a duke from. Where is he? Where is he? He's from over here, but he also has a county of Furstenberg in my liege's realm. So she wants that county for herself rather than letting another duke have it. Um, so she's going to war over this. She has um, the guy that completely trashed me, um, Adelbert, here. Um, and she also has Count Friedrich III of Ravensburg, who is actively blackmailing me. Uh, she also has him on board. Um, and I give her my blessing and all my levies, and I am staying out of it. Because, again, I, I just got beat and have no really decent military structure. Um, in terms of the lineage, though, we're looking good. I have a daughter. Um, so I have an heir, ready-made. Um, look at her. Her name was, is Walpurga. She's charming and just frankly adorable. Um, she is currently being raised by one of my knights, Frida, um, who is paranoid, forgiving, and diligent, um, which is a mix of things, but we're gonna, that, we're gonna say it's okay. Um, I also have a spare, uh, Joan right here. She's still just a baby. Um, and also likes me just a whole lot. Um, so we don't know much about what's happening with her yet, but, uh, I do have an heir and a spare. It unfortunately means we're ready to split the realm in the event Dorothy dies. Um, but hopefully we'll, 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 we won't get to that point. Oh, I can see what my label is. I'm a fearless ravener. Oh, that's amazing. Hold on. Oh, very greedy, significantly more likely to use short-term gains, uh, embezzle gold, use collect taxes, betray their friends and family for gold. Oh, but also very bold. Okay. I wouldn't have called, I wouldn't have called Ravener with Dorothy, but that's interesting. That's the way the game categorizes her. Um... Wants to be ready to declare war. I mean, yeah, that's that's true. Um, Dorothy has warred quite a bit, um, and she's won all the ones that she'd done up until um, Hohenberg. So, you know, one out of many. It's not bad. Not bad as far as track record in wars. Um, I'm in debt, so I can't do much. Um, so right now we're just kind of, again, riding out this period of debt. I'm sure my citizenry do not like me very much. Um, we can look at the realm management to see. Um, it's not that bad. Um, in the counties that I just recently took, of course, the control is relatively low. Um, look, people are sieging Furstenberg. Um, 
I wish this were a type of game where I can, like, while everybody's doing that, I can just kind of slip in there and, like, maybe grab Hohenberg without anybody really noticing. Um, I don't think I can do that, mainly because I'm at... I don't think I can do it because I'm in debt right now, honestly. I think maybe if I weren't in debt... Also, I don't have a cost. Oh, yeah, because I don't have claim on Hohenberg anymore. Right. I lost my claim when I lost the war. Oh, okay, hold on. So I chose the... Uh, I switched to a military um, martial life focus, and that means I get these little martial pop-ups. Um, so the true enemy of every soldier is complacency, my knight Frida says before nodding, acknowledge, before nodding acknowledging. Uh, we are standing side by side up on my castle's walls, looking down on the soldiers conducting drills below. We could exchange the castle's gate for planks of wood and dull the arrows in the troops' quivers. She continues, lead the soldiers in mock charge against the castle and see how well they do in action. Um, okay, so I guess like war games. Yeah, I think that would appeal to, I think that would appeal to Dorothy. Um, Under C. Oh, we're going to continue with this. Okay. Um, a tightly shut gate and walls that loom high in the sky. Archers can be seen as shadows moving behind the embattlements. A feeling of genuine excitement permeates the air. In the lull before the battle, I turn and address the soldiers. My order rings out loud and clear across the field. Either charge the main gate or bring out the ladders. Um... So, oh, this is considered a riskier approach, um, and this is safer and more tactical. Um, so I don't... Actually, Dorothy's not bad in Marshall. I guess not now that she has um, the strategy focus. Um, I don't know that there's much to back that, though, because Dorothy as a character I don't feel is very strategic in her thinking. Um, yeah, I think she's taking this seriously. She's trying really hard to make sure that um, the next time she does a war, uh, she will not lose in quite an, as, an embarrassing fashion as she did. Um, so yes, I think she, I think she might try the more tactical approach. Oh, look at them go. Where's okay. Taking the final step up onto the walls surrounding the castle, I survey this scene. Many soldiers may have been lost to the archers on the walls, but we will not be deterred. One after another, we overwhelm the defenders and stand victorious over the fallen. I take a deep breath, and then it's time to press on again. Um, so I can call everybody with me. I can have the archers do their thing. Or I, oh, I can, okay. I can t kick the war games up a level. Um, yeah, we're going to say, um, yeah, I'm going to say Dorothy's just kind of trying out kind of some, some stuff that we've, she's learned from her studies uh, since losing so poorly. Um, so where's... Stairwell Eccles as another dulled weapon bounces off the middle pillar. For the second time in a matter of minutes, I curse the tight spiral that blocks us from swinging our weapons at the defenders. The heaving breath of the soldiers around me is deafening, and with every repelled attack, they grow more resigned and frustrated. I have to take charge of the situation. This is our last chance to turn the battle. Um, don't let up. We will overwhelm them. Okie doke. One at a time. Stay alert. 
or I could just say, behind me, I will protect you. Um, okay, no, that's not a Dorothea thing. Um, yeah, I think she might, just because she's been cautious up till this point, I think she might, um, I think she might try to switch it up. Oh, we take the stairs with brutal efficiency. Fantastic. Um, and I can unlock a Marshall perk. Also fantastic. Let's see what I can do. Um, decrease the cost of... Uh, decrease the cost of... Cost of belly. Serve the crown, which is a... Increases dread and increases control. Stalwart leader. Um, I think this is worthwhile. Dorothy tends to start a few, just quite a few wars. Um, so decreasing the cost is probably a good thing. Oh, the castle is ours. Among the celebrating soldiers, I find Frida, who congratulates me on a charge well led. Look at them, my lady. The change of pace did them good. Even you seem reinvigorated. I mean, yeah, I do. Look at that. Um, even though your castle was just lost to attackers. Okay. Um, oh, and Vertenberg gets improved defenses for 10 years. Nice. Okay. Oh, and I get another perk. Is that another perk? An extra perk? Yes. Perk and then perk. Okay. Um, oh, God. Okay. Siege weapon effectiveness. <gasps> yes. Siege just, just goes so slowly. Anything that can boost their speed is good. So, okay, so this is... Okay, so this is held... This is the army held by the Duke. And so he's got to come from all... He doesn't have a rallying point in the duchy I guess um because he's having to come from all the way over here in the meantime they're like four months away from a siege um or from winning the siege so um yeah he's hurrying along Claims can I ask for? Ooh, I can ask for a claim to the most serene republic of pizza. Huh. What else? Republic of pizza. Which is a duchy. Okay, so duchy versus kingdom. Um, yeah, nothing I really want. Uh, so typically I've noticed uh, you get the option to buy claims if, um, like in this case, if a man is a ruler, um, then there's like a reason for the Pope to be like, yeah, no, maybe we should give it to a chick instead. Um, and vice versa, if you're playing with the gender roles, as default. Um, I'm really concerned about where he's going because he's kind of... Okay, good. He's turning. That's good. Keep keep on turning. Look, Furstenberg is, Furstenberg is going to fall. You should probably, you should probably do something about that. Um, yeah, my, my, um, my levies are involved here. being led by Duchess Adelaide herself. The woman, the legend, Duchess Adelaide. Oh, look, look, look at her spouse. And he a cutie. Where's he from? He's Franconian. Okay. Oh, they, they got Furstenberg. Okay, cool. Oh, so, okay. So the Duke is going after 
Ulm, which is my liege's county. So they're going to stop that. Um, it always says click to view. I can never actually view. Oh, and it broke up. Is the enemy army still around or? I don't know, Vito. I don't know that I trust you, really. I mean, you've never liked me. I wonder if there's anybody... Oh, here's my court physician. Also would be a decent... Decent spy master. And she's at least neutral towards me. Whereas Vito thinks very poorly of me. And is he a... No, he's not a... Yeah, he's not a vassal or anything. I don't need to keep him. Um... Also isn't... Yeah, he's lowborn. So Dorothy does kind of want to get rid of the lowborns on her... In her... In her council. So, yes. Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina's in. Vito's out. There you go. And look, now she likes me because I put her on the council. That's very nice. Um, okay. Now, Wilhelmina, why don't you take a look at Count Adalbert's court and let me know what you find. <sighs> Better find something interesting. So did the Duke's army just completely get demolished? Because that's funny. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my liege won. There we go. Congrats to my liege. Um, she won the war. I did not have to get involved. I'm very happy. Um, of course, it does mean that she has an additional county, which honestly is not that great because I do kind of want to take the duchy from her. And the more county she has, the more difficult it will be to do. Um, so, welp. Um, that's why if I actually were not in debt and had my military, I would possibly have gone with the Duke in that war, but oh well. Um, so Job is looking pretty good. Um, oh, oh, he, he's lazy. Well, okay. He's coming across somehow. Um, I was just finishing up the day's business in my council chambers when my husband, Count Lifris, saunters in with his brother, Stefan, eagerly at his heels. Stefan, what are you doing here? I thought you were in Wales. Okay. Um, I put down the ledger I was just reading, knowing no good can come from this unexpected visit. Lifris hesitantly remarks upon my appearance. My wife, you are a mighty and powerful countess. But some do not yet give you the respect you deserve. You need something to demonstrate your authority. My brother could, could smith a fine set of regalia that would reflect your status. Sponsor him and see how's creation will improve your mood. Um, okay. Um, Lifris, honey, sweetie pie. You know we're in debt. You know I don't have money. Why would you? Why would you? I'm sorry your brother is hard up, but I don't, I can't do anything about that. Maybe he should have thought of that before he became a poet, okay? Um, so we don't, yeah. I grew closer to forming a rivalry? Oh, that's petty, Lifris. That's petty, I'm just being practical. Wow. So grudgy. Jeez, men are so emotional. Um... As I was saying, Job is turning out fine, even if he's lazy and trusting. Um, but that's fine, because he's not the heir, so <laughs> he's never going to rule. Um, instead, what I can do is I can find him a spouse that will be, um, you know. Okay. That will be okay. Um, I wonder what I can get that's not matrilineal, so that way the, the family name will pass down. Um, and since we do want it passed down, it does kind of have to be a lady. Um, 
And then prestige game is gain is important for um, you know Dorothy's well being. Um, there's this little girl. We don't know much about her. She's nine. It would earn him eight hundred prestige. That's that's decent. That's decent. And children would be born into the house von Bauer. Okay. She's unlanded. I'm really okay. That's just a very complicated family situation. Um, there's also, he could get married to a 30 year old uh, woman who is wandering around somewhere. She has a couple claims. Um, she is Norman. That would not get that much prestige. So I kind of like the idea of just trying to spread um, the Von Bauer name far and wide. Um, it's tempting to just kind of go ahead and give into a matril matrilineal marriage and try to get an alliance, um, which is is an option. Um, I, I could get uh, this this little girl who's four and is the daughter of a of a of a count. Um, he only holds one county. Um, so really, like the the alliances that we can pull is not very much. We can actually do better if we get more people into our house because um, your renown is determined by basically how many living members you have and what their ranks are. So the more living members, the higher the ranks, the better. Um, so it's worthwhile. Like, so this would go up no matter what, if, if it's matrilineal or not, it'd be fine. Um, but the highest he could get in a matrilineal marriage situation is the daughter of a do, uh, of a count. Whereas if we keep it patrilineal, oh no, that is the same, same little girl. Oh, okay. That's the daughter of a duke. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this would give us some extra points in press in Renown because he'd be the, the, I guess he'd be the husband of a future duchess, assuming she survives. Um, and any children they have would be future dukes and duchesses um so yeah that's a that's a good deal that's a good deal it won't result in an alliance that's fine they're all the way over in um ireland so they don't they don't need like they that's a long way for them to travel so i'm i'm not gonna worry so much about that but there this gets our that gets our son betrothed yep yes my son job and um whatever her name is garb will be the best couple ever otp i ship them so hard i don't they're children um let's see how are my other kids doing oh look at that he's got some hair going good job popo i don't know why it just it's, a, it's an interesting look for a five-year-old uh, well, Perga's doing doing okay. Uh, George coming along on the march. At the end of the field exercise, it had seemed a brilliant idea to practice regrouping an army in disarray. I split my troops and ordered every officer to independently make their way to Stuttgart. Of course, by the third day of waiting, but with only half of my army in place, I am now seeing flaws in the plan. Lucia suggests that I ride out with a contingent of knights to find the missing troops while the rest of the army returns home. Okay, so... My army can't find their way home. Um... Uh, 
I could search for them myself or myself or I could make Lucia do it. Um, I don't think Dorothy would look for them herself. I don't think she's that type of that type of person. Um, so she's gonna give that to Lucia. Oh, Count Lifris hates me again. We're getting close to a rivalry. <sighs> Marital affairs are so complicated. Oh, I can bat middens. Oh, look at that. Look at middens. Look at that. I'm going to pet my cat. Oh, look, I find Minnens outside, strutting around the yard. As soon as she spots me, she meows and saunters over, rubbing up against my leg. I spend many minutes crouched by her side, petting her and scratching her under the chin. When I stand back up again, I feel lighter than I have in a long time. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's true to life. Lose 10 stress. Absolutely. Now I can't do that again for another five years. Poor Minnens. Poor Minnens can only get pet once every five years. That's awful for that cat. Oh, wow. Ah, cool. Um, how's the control? Okay, so we're at 79 control, which is actually pretty good. Um, I'm going to switch my marshal back to Zolern, just because it is quite low. Um, oh, look, my marshal is pregnant. I guess she does have a spouse. I just don't know what he looks like. My Marshall's anonymous spouse. Um, I need to consider. I haven't. I hadn't quite figured out what we're gonna do since I did not get Hohenberg. Oh look, my my liege is pregnant too. Cool. Um. Because I'm going to be out of debt soonish. And I still would. I'm going to have to go up against. I'm going to have to go up against. Friedrich the third. This guy. Oh, wow. No, none that. None that now. Um. He has two counties. Oh, I can ask my advisors for military advice on Count Friedrich. I could send an emissary. I could befriend him. Oh, he does have an alliance. He's allied to this guy who's a count and is quite close. Okay. Huh. So I think when I'm out of debt, I am going to go for Gruningen. Um, it's going to take... Um, it's going to take a bit, but because I do need to fabricate it. I don't have a claim to this already, do I? I don't think I do. No, I have a claim to Furstenberg, which is now owned by my duchess, who I'm on decent terms with. Interesting. Um, I can't... Can I send an emissary? Yes. Okay. I will send an emissary to my regent, to my regent, to my liege. Oh, I'm so close to being out of debt. This is beautiful. It's like that moment when you pay down all your credit card bill. Um, it's just a very freeing feeling.
Um, I'm also going to take some time to build up my military. Um, yay. Oh, look, I'm on good terms with my duchess. <gasps> Fantastic. Look at us. Look at us. We're bonding. We're bonding. We get along. Um, she's an insane zealot, but, you know, she's a good person. Deep in her heart of hearts. Um... Also, I haven't had enough money to really do anything with the, the trips and everything, which is really unfortunate because the, the events are fun. Um, the activities. Uh, maybe Dorothy should start thinking about money a lot more and go into the stewardship focus. It'll be a while, so. Um, because we just switched to the military focus and you you gotta wait a bit. There's a cooldown. One more month. Oh, look, my income going up too. What's that from? Domain. And boom, I'm out of debts. Oh, as Middens approaches me with yet another dead rat, I can do nothing but praise her. The castle has never been this free of rodents before. Good job, Middens. You're a fantastic kitty. Look at us. We're, we're rat free for five years. Huge boost to health. All because of Middens. Middens. You're a hero. Keep up the good work. Okay. I like I like doing stuff with the pet cat. Um, I could do this stuff with my real life cats, but it's just fun when it's in a game. My skills have improved. Lovely. Oh no, there's. Um, I'm getting deserting lovies in Lord Lincoln. <laughs> okay, so Wilhelmina hasn't found anything. Count Adelbert's court. But she does believe there's something more going on. So, yes, Wilhelmina, keep going. Do not stop. Do not leave any stone unturned. Um, I believe in you, Wilhelmina. Oh, I can do a, I can do a education trait for my, my son George here. George without an E at the end. He is curious, which is very cute. Um, curious could be learning, you know, maybe I can throw Lifris a bone here. He's all about the intellectual stuff. Um, maybe I say, here, you can have our youngest son and you can just do whatever you want with him. You know, just raise him, um, make him read books and make him into a little mini you. In fact, you can convert his culture. Um, he can become Welsh while living in Swabia. Um, yeah, go for it. Look, Lifris likes me slightly better, but still kind of hates me. And maybe he sees it as a bit, you know, patronizing, because it kind of is. I mean, it's my youngest son, and who cares about the youngest son? Um, they don't matter that much at all. Like, at least the youngest daughter, like, she's, she's still fine. She's still an heir. Not the heir, but an heir. She's carrying on the Von Bauer line. Hmm. I can challenge Job to a board game. Yeah, I don't I don't think that's Dorothy's style at all. She's she's not a board game type of person. Oh, the first of the Vanguard needs worthy successor. 
Um, go go find me a. Didn't I just raise the? Oh, it's fine. Um, go find a worthy successor. I was about to do something. Oh yeah, I have to actually set my. Oh, my suffragan bishop bishop is sick. Sad. Okay, fabricate a claim on um, Groningen. We're going. We're we're doing this. What other lowborns do I have? Oh, I have. Oh, so I have Mayor Lutbert. He's mediocre. He's also a vassal, but he's a mayor. So mayors don't matter that much. Do I have anybody who would be better at stewardship? No. Um, okay, so that's fine. There's Mayor Thomas, who is also mediocre. Is he the best that I have in terms of diplomacy? Yes, he is. Okay. So this is kind of where we're scraping the bottom of the barrel. I'm just kind of having to deal with who we have. Um, military strength. <sighs> yeah. Oh, and I have this Mayor Adelheid, the Heartless of Krilsheim. Wow, she's a piece of work. Um, and she's mad that she's not on the council. But she's not really good at anything. So, oh, except she's a really... Good strategist. Huh. But even with plus eight to her marshal, she's only competent? Interesting. Sadistic, deceitful, but also forgiving. That's really nice. It's really nice that she forgives. Um... Who's this? My courtier. Um, I guess she's a knight. She's pretty she's pretty athletic. Um Has she been in I didn't even check to see the prisoners from the last war. Um Yeah, we, I mean, I need, I need knights. Knights are important. Um, sorry. Do I have anybody else that's hanging around in a prison anywhere? Um, do I have any way to filter for that? Are they in prison? <laughs> um, let's see, I could just take a breeze through to look if anybody has bars in their portrait. Nope, nope, everybody else is good, just her. Okay, who's this? She's a guest. Um, yeah, she's, she's nobody really that special. Um, okay, cool. So I have my bishop working on oh, Adelheid von Rugen. Can be the successor for the first of the vanguard. Now, I'm not a big fan of that accolade, but I'll probably retire it at some point when I have some prestige to spare. Right now I don't, because I do want to at some point declare war. Not until I build up my army though. Oh, I probably want to get some information about his military. Can I send an emissary to him? Yes, I can. Oh! Oh, I get claim on Hohenberg again. Because of a blunder. I'm guessing from his, from his steward? Or his, um, chancellor? That's really unfortunate for him, but look at me. 
I have a claim on the title again. That's nice. I can I can do the war on the war on the the Count Adalbert Part Two Electric Boogaloo. Um, now more catastrophic than ever. My emissary is received on Count Friedrich the Third's court and brings me some information about his court. Oh, I can see what his spouse looks like. Oh my God. Okay. Um. Oh, he's confessing things. That's interesting. Oh, he's confessed to some disquieting things. Huh? Like, like what has he, what has he confessed to? Oh, is he not lovers with the baby face here? Poor guy, just kind of wandering around in Krakow now. Um, very sad for him. Thoughts and prayers. Tell me all your secrets. Um, if I befriend him, actually, I, 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 yeah, I don't think I can befriend him because I'm gonna be, um. Oh, he has a strong hook on me. Oh, I wonder if that might be an issue if I try to war with him. Can I war with somebody who has a strong hook on me? Well, I don't have a claim on him yet. Oh, this will be a much wealth to see. I might swerve at the last minute and just do another war on Hohenberg, um, since I have a claim on that. Um, and that guy definitely doesn't like me, whereas uh, Friedrich... Friedrich the Third is neutral, which is, you know... Pretty okay. Oh, okay. So Ulrich von Meissen has arrived at the court since she has spent some time on Duke Berthold II's court. So this is the guy that just lost Furstenberg, um, and he's all the way over here somewhere. Um, we can ask if she's willing to share some information. I don't see why, because he's not over here anymore. I don't, I don't care about him. Um, like he's got a duchy somewhere else. He's got a county somewhere else and he's got a bunch of claims. Um, I don't really care. So Ulrich, I'm sorry. You're useless. You're useless. You're not even that talented at anything. Um, oh, whoa. Look at you though. <sighs> Hold up. Would you like to stay? Um. I can arrange a marriage between her and one of my courtiers. Yes. You, you, my dear. You're going to marry an adult, please. I'm going to just going to have you marry to an adult. Um, I'm going to say, oh, these are the merit, these are the options. Um, it doesn't really matter. I don't know their sexual orientation, so I don't know if I'm being like rude or presumptuous or anything. Um, oh, she's the person that I left in prison for a while. Yeah, here, have a wife. Um, oh, really? Be ignored. Ulrich would not accept this, but look at her. She's nice. She's a resentful paragon. <sighs> Ulrich. Fine. Ask for information. What do you know? Do I care? If it's something like he's a cannibal, then I care. Oh, okay, here we go. I invite my guest Ulrich for a toast and a nice pleasant talk. Of course, at a certain point, I have the opportunity to ask her if she could share me with some stories or maybe more about her stay at Duke Berthold's court. Should I ask her? Yes. Well, of course, of course. I'm glad you're interested in my adventures, my Countess. Not that there are many. But yes, I have had some pleasant and interesting moments during my stay at Duke Berthold II's court that I will gladly share with you. Oh, he's intimidated by me. Because apparently I'm dreadful again, even though I have zero dread. Or I guess 0.5 dread. Um, 
Okay, so I get some information about him and members of his court. Okay, so about his courtiers. That's nice. I don't really care. I don't give military information, which is really the most, like, important information in general. She did not find anything in Adelbert's court. Even though she thought there might be something. Disappointing. Wilhelm learned the bi Brythonic language through observation. Fantastic. Okay, you find information about Count Friedrich III. Um, who currently has a strong hook on me because he knows I'm a deviant. Which is really kink-shaming, I must say. I wish people back in the Middle Ages were more considerate of this. Oh yeah, I have a f I forgot I'm friends with a little girl. Oh, she's she a teenager now. She's a, almost an adult, <laughs> of course. Um... Oh, look, my, my three-year-old is better at managing money now. Good for her. I can declare war on... Why could I declare an excommunication war? Uh -huh. So I could war against this realm. I don't want to. Well, I mean, there's no point. It's very far away. Um, eye on the prize, Duchy of Swabia. Gotta get it eventually. Dorothy's only 34. She's still young. Crusader King's games uh, go so long. Oh, do I have an invitation? Oh, I can go to Hunt. That sounds, that sounds exciting. Um, okay. Yeah. In Gruningen. Okay. Um, so I have my caravan master here. Is she good at she, what she does? No, she's poor. I could fire her. And replace her with Frida, who's kind of my all-purpose, you know, right-hand woman. Um, yeah, I think that... Yeah, I think that makes sense, just for safety's sake. Um, there's some issues with safety here because mountains and also low county control. Um... But I have a mountaineer and mercenary guards, so I'm kind of doing the best I can to minimize that. Mercenary guards are expensive. Um, but I like, I, I like them just for the security. And we're just going this, this far. Oh, look at, look at my, look at my mountaineer, Walpurga. She's shy. Shy is the worst trait. Um, in some earlier game, I had a... Uh, no, I, I, hold on, this is good. Um, I had a character who was really shy, and she just succeeded to the throne. Uh, not throne, it, I think she was like a... No, I think it was a kingdom, so throne. Um, and so she decided to like force herself to be outgoing and go on a royal tour and meet all her vassals and try to schmooze. Stressed out completely, had a heart attack at the end of it. Um, died an early death. Um, so just saying, shy is the worst trait. Uh, let's see. So my acquaintance, Count Friedrichs, hosting a hunt in Gruningen, and time has come for us to depart. Um, I should be able to proudly represent the House of Von Bauer, hunting with birds in the most noble pursuit. My regent. Is that the regent I had? Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. She's selfless and she's good. I like that. Okay. And 
and now we're making uh, we're making camp soon what are my other options here I could murder it's not really Dorothy's vibe I don't think it even really occurs to her she could try to befriend who's here my duchess <sighs> nobody really I'm playing the long game, so I do think um, befriending Adelaide is just, it, you know, it's a little sneaky. It's a little sneaky for Dorothy, but, you know, she's trying a thing. Oh, okay. The blaring of the war horns have reached me here in Grinning and Hunt. I've been summoned to, summoned to aid in the war between Duchess Adelaide and Duchess Cotilda, who is apparently this four-year-old. Um... Okay, I can either manage things from the hunt, or I can say this war requires my full attention. So I think most of the people in the hunt are probably going to be a little distracted at this point because, like, war? So I'm going to, yeah. Um, let's see. So this is, um, I have a mod that allows you to have some more, like, autonomy with regards to some of these types of de jure wars. Um, so right now, I guess, what are we doing? Oh, Adelaide was at a hunt and she decided to declare war. That makes no sense, but okay. Um, so they are warring. Okay. So... Could Hilda has Hohenlo Hohenlohe Hohen Okay. But Adelaide wants it. Okay. So this would be helping Adelaide get Get Hohen. Wait, get Hohenberg. Hohenberg. What happened to the other guy? The guy that completely demolished me. Title history. Oh, not the Duchy of Swabia. Hohenberg. Title history. Oh, did he die? He died. Oh, he died in sleep. Oh. So this is his daughter. So my liege is going to war with his daughter to try. So she's trying to take back more counties of the duchy because honestly having a duchy is okay but it's really the counties that are useful so she's trying to get more counties um if the four-year-old wins and she gets to keep the county um Okay, so she has a duchy. She also has some random county titles, including Hohenberg, which is in Swabia, and also Hohenlohe, which is in East Franconia. Um, and then these counties that I think are more proper part of Brab... Um, so if I, if I declare with our liege, I'm basically going to be helping my liege get Hohenberg. And I have a claim on Hohenberg, and I was hoping to maybe grab it. I'm going to have to go up against my liege eventually, but it's not in my interest to for her to have more counties and thus more power. If I declare with the baby, 
the four-year-old. But thing is, if I side with her, if I declare with the four-year-old, then I'm basically trying to keep the county out of my liege's hands. Could remain neutral. I still haven't quite built back my army. Um, she has a duchy. Who's hers? Who's her ally? Her ally is a countess who has 255 soldiers. Defenders. Military might is inferior to the attackers. Uh, so the defenders have a lot of levies um, and 11 knights, 700 bowmen, 400 pikemen. They don't have any siege. Okay, so there's some, my, the ally has some siege weapons. Um, attacking forces. Armored footmen, light horsemen. What do I have? Can I pull that up with this? I have bowmen, which is a counter to skirmishers. I have light horsemen. And six knights. I don't know, I think the defenders are um, looking pretty strong. I wish I were better built up with my military at this point. Because my military is just not what it should be. Yeah, I'm going to lie low. Dorothy, playing a long game. Look at her, being strategic. Um, laying low. Um, oh, here we go. Oh, I thought I said no to the to the hunt. Am I, am I still at the hunt? I'm still at the hunt. Okay. Um, like Duchess Adelaide isn't even there anymore. Okay, this is awkward. So I actually kind of, sorry, I kind of want to leave. Um, no offense, Count Friedrich, but there's a war going on. Oh, 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 there's a courtier at Count Friedrich III's court. Who is a cannibal? Fascinating. Okay. Um, good to know. Um, I guess we're going to wait for this hunt to go through. Oh, I, I am traveling. Am I moving? Or am I... I'm still at the hunt. Okay. In the meantime, there's a war happening. Um, there's the hostile army. Um, that's my... That should be my liege. Taking wing. Um, I'm not paying too much attention attention to this because honestly I thought I had left it so I don't really care and honestly when you're not actually leading the hunt when you're not hosting you don't have much control over what what happens you're just kind of following along so um it's fine they're they're doing things um there's militaries happening here military happening here I don't look good for don't look good for them yep and look, we failed. The hunt failed. Very sad. Uh, 
Empty handed. Okay, let's leave this be adventure behind. I do get some prestige. Um, which is nice. Prestige is always useful. And then I'm on my way back home. While a bunch of armies are going around by, around me, the procession has ground to a halt a stone's throw away from Veringen. I look over to see my courtier, Val, Valperga, Valperga, dismounted and intently staring at something on the ground. The other entourage members have gathered around her. Valperga looks up as I approach. My lady, there's an ant path here. I may be a tad superstitious, but you should never cross an ant path. Uh, she pauses. My great-grandmother did, and she never returned home. Um... I think Dorothy would actually be down with the superstition there, but I don't have that option. Um, so I guess to avoid stress, uh, she'll take over his die. Oh, but she got lost and I spent 75 prestige. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. This guy's running around, isn't he? Oh, I guess the bulk of the military, yeah, their army's got to get down from there. Yay, I arrived home. That beautiful moment when you arrive home. Just doing a run, drawing out time. Wonder when I can. So I can increase this to three. I'm also conscious of the fact that I am working on a claim and I will receive it soon, so I have an option to buy it. Um, I'm okay going in a little bit debt, but I don't want to do that too often, especially with a war going on around me. So I am kind of rooting against my liege in this war. Um, Middens, Dorothy, this cat has to go. My husband, Count Lifris, is holding up Middens by the skin of her neck. Oh, Lifris. I cannot stand this anymore. I can barely breathe when she is around. Okay, so my husband, who's awful, um, is allergic to Middens, who's a hero, um, who keeps the castle or you know my my ruling center um rat free and improves everybody's health and reduces stress and Lifris is just wanting me to boot her like he wanted me to boot three of the people in my court um no 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 i will not give i will not give middens away absolutely not Lifris. come on deal with it you don't like me anyway, so just go to the other side of the castle. Jesus. I'm trying to make it rid of middens. What type of husband are you? Can I divorce you over that? I could... No, that wouldn't, that wouldn't work. Can I murder him over that? Oh. Really? Really? I mean, Dorothy wouldn't. It's not her style. I don't know. He wanted he wanted me to get rid of middens. It's harsh. It's like some lines. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh. So I'm getting the option to get a claim on Groningen or also to get a claim on all of Swabia. Um, I've been given that option before, like before I'm going to turn it down when it costs a lot more gold. Um, and to, I would, well, I have four counties right now. Oh, I'm, I'm thinking about it. 
I'm really thinking about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm in debt now, but I knew that was going to happen. Um, so Joan is bossy. Love it. Um, that means I can give her martial education, which is good for girls. Everybody knows girls are really good as soldiers, really good as commanders. Um, and I can give her to Seagard. Why do you always pop up? Um, oh, he has a really, he's a brilliant strategist. What other traits does he have? He's temperate, he's trusting, and he's content. You know, those are all good for traits for the second daughter. He's lowborn, which Dorothy does have a bias against um, because she's a hypocrite, but um, that's okay. She'll get around it. So my liege is probably a little unhappy that I fabricated a claim on her realm That's fine. You know, she's going around declaring wars to snap up counties. I'm just saying, turnabout's fair play. I can unlock a new martial perk. Oh, I can also change my lifestyle focus if I wanted. Raid speed, supply capacity. Um, so I actually like increasing the army movement speed on this. Um, just because in situations where, like, what the AI was doing, you're having to do the big runaway, um, it could be nice. Do I want to change the focus? Because I was considering stewardship, just because we kind of need money. Is that what Dorothy's focusing on, though? No, I think she's focused on war and money would be useful, but she's not interested in money for the building of money. She's interested in money for war purposes. Um, and that's why I think the lifestyle focus has to stay here. Um, she's really intense on this right now. So even though it'd be advantageous to gameplay to switch to stewardship, um, it's not really the path we're going to go. Um, because we're doing this role play styles, so that means not always making the best choices. Um, also, look at that, Hohenberg's under siege. Feels like it was only yesterday when I was in that place. Technically, it was the previous video. Oh, look, I worked clear on my liege. Again, oh, my top liege, Empress and Eniko of the Holy Roman Empire. Okay, so there was a different, there was a different uber liege before. Um, it was Huta. She, okay, so she died. She's dead. Under mysterious circumstances. Always a classic. Okay. And so now Eniko, who is a nine-year-old, is the top liege. And then this guy, who's a duke of Lombardy, is wanting independence from the Holy Roman Empire. Um, personally, um, yeah, I'm gonna remain neutral because honestly, I don't don't care that much. Still kind of focused on Swabia. Um, if I get, if again, if I were not in debt, I might consider declaring for my leech. Um, just because getting on the side of my uber leech, who will continue to be my leech once I'm the duchess, is not a bad thing. But um, until that point. Okay, so the hostile military is chasing off the siegers. Um... There's some more hostile... Oh, there's a lot of stuff popping up. Well, I guess because with the bigger war going on. Um, 
Words always pop up when I'm in debt. That's really unfortunate. Oh, Hohenberg under siege again. I feel like the, the cartoon of that, that dog at a kitchen table with flames around him just saying this is fine. Um, armies popping up all around me and I'm, I'm just remaining neutral. Um, no, we're going to find something on Friedrich. I'm sure he's got something. He has a cannibal in his court. The, 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 the dude's confessing things. He's feeling guilty for a reason. He's done something. Look at all that. Look at all that mess. Wow, look at all that mess. That's just a lot a lot oh dear okay so I think this in the middle of a bunch of wars that I am not involved in while I'm in debt again um, is a good place to end um, we are in the middle of building back our military and trying to get ourselves in a position to intentionally declare war in a way that might actually succeed in getting us the Duchy of Swabia. Um, I think at this point we might be able to skip over the whole, oh look, she had, she had a girl. Good on her. Um, anyway, we might be able to switch over the whole usurpation and just go straight for trying to get Swabia from her. Um... Yeah, I think I think that might be doable. It'll be harder the more counties she snatches up, though. So um, we're going to have to keep an eye on the surrounding political situation, which is running quite hot at the moment, um, as it typically is in this game. Um, right now, my oldest son is approaching the coming of age. He is betrothed. My young my my player heir here has a nice little bun. Um, she's very cute. Um, and then my other little daughter here is learning to wield a sword, which is fantastic. Proud of her. Um, again, this is a great place to stop. I thank you so much for following along. I'll see you in the next one.